everyone, my name is Blas Jen Piaso from Cavite State University and this is my art analysis. This art is created by Romson Colorbrina and the title of this art is Supreme Art Information. Colibrina presented a series of works in January 2021 in conjunction with Singapore Art Week to kickstart the year. As part of the Rainbow Spill series, Supreme also comes along. The pieces feature the distinct iridescent depiction of waterside communities seen in his most recent works. This time, inspired by the rainbow-like color formations on water surfaces following an oil spill. Subject information. Colibrina subjects its images and his memories of it to his process of modernization, a technique that involves research into the many ways contemporary art filters vision of the world. Artist or architect. Romson Colibrina is a contemporary Filipino artist recognized for his appropriation paintings that reference works by prominent Filipino and international artists. In his oil paintings, which often just Suppose garish psychedelic colors with more subdued tones, Colibrina ad addresses current social political concerns such as power dynamics in art history, globalization, and human intervention in nature. Romson Colibrina lives and works in the Philippines, graduating with a degree in fine arts from the Technological University of the Philippines in 2011. Colibrina has been taking part and winning in winning art competitions nationwide since his student days. He has participated in several group shows and recently had in his first solo exhibition titled Before the Sun Down at 1335 Mabini, Manila, Philippines. For the date, there was no specified date when Colibrina made the painting, but it was made before it was announced on Ron Son Colibrina's Instagram account on January 10, 2021. The painting was exhibited on Yavuz Gallery, Singapore, as part of the Rainbow Spill series from January 15, 2020 to February 13, 2020. The Provenance Colibrina made the painting in his studio in his house, located at Noveleta, Cavite. It was made for his Rainbow Spill series exhibited at Yavuz Gallery, Singapore. It's the location. The painting is now sold after being exhibited in a sold-out show in Yavuz Gallery, Singapore. And the medium. It was made using oil on canvas and bamboo. Brief description. The painting is a parallel between vividness and neutrality, the clash of the colors of realism, and the brilliance of the rainbow. It is indeed rightful to the title of Supreme, as part of the Rainbow Spill series. Ronson Colibrina looked back to his formative years on the island of Tallinn Rizal to create figurative paintings of those surroundings. Colibrina painted it in abstract realism and a palette inspired directly by the Eris descent oil spills caused by industry. The, mater the masterpiece was reminiscent of his childhood and a commentary on environmentalism. Art elements. Number one, the line. It was a mixture of a straight, curved, irregular line that re resembles the object and the reality of his life in Rizal. The irregularity and contoured lines of the sea of fisherman nets that fills the space and the thin lines of the drawing itself are the lines present in the painting. Number two, the shape. Irregular shapes that portray natural life objects in the painting are primarily prevalent. It was a clash of random, ambiguous forms of the aquatic flora and things that we see every day in our lives with paint splashes that speak of modernity. Read the light and value. The light source comes from above, indicating fishing under the sun. It was evident that the shadows were beneath the objects. The foreground of the painting, the fisherman and his boat, has very high contrast and dark shades 
in the realism style while the background which was the iridescent spill was very vivid flat and has more of an abstract clash than the foreground before the color the foreground has very sharp and saturated colors and mainly comprises a brown dominated palette however the background has a very vivid and warm pastel tone inspired by the colors of the light hitting the iridescent oil spill on the sea while the midground, which was the fisherman net, has a neutral color to it, filling the voids in the compositions, implying the trap the humanity has the scam to in its quest to pursue progress and development at the expenses of nature. 5. The Texture and Pattern The painting used the oil painting method that is thinly applied, which will expectedly result in having a canvas texture. However, the paint splatters added as the final touch will create an impasto texture. The pattern that stood out in the painting was the net, which has a cross hatch pattern with irregular squares representing the sea. For 6. The Space Single point perspective, the illusionary depth from which Western art is founded, becomes the firm ground that supports all of Colbrina's alterations. The positive space of the painting is the fisherman. His both and aquatic flora and the decorations, it was the focus of the painting. The negative space of the painting was the vivid and pastel colors in the ground. Then, the time and motion. The subject in the painting is in a static or fixed position, which indicates no motion since it is a painting. However, it is seen in the painting that the flags were waving to the left, which makes it an implied motion. Illusion of movement and the passage of time or distance. Of design. Number 1. Unity and Variety When looking at the painting for the first time, it would look not very clear and our eyes will be highlighted to the vib vibrancy of the colors, but as we look to it furthermore. Commonly, the unity of the boat and the blue skies are the images we usually see in paintings, but as we look in, in the name of the series, Rainbow Spill, we can see the meaning behind this. The unity of the visual elements truly matters, but the painting would not have its story without personality and dichotomy. When talking about paradox, we can see the difference between the background, the rainbow colors, foreground, the boat and the fisherman, and its midground, the net. The net with neutral colors is the opposite of the background, which is colorful. This variable creates contrast and tension to the art, making its position attractive. Balance Each of the elements in the painting, whether it may be the background, foreground, or midground, has visual weight. The painting follows as a symmetrical design. On the left side, the fisherman is highlighted, while the rainbow spill background stands out on the right side. Lack of the balance would make the design feel heavy on one side and empty on the on the opposite. Yet the painting completely balances the weight of the elements. The right side of the painting was in, was not left with anything. Instead, it was replaced by the colors of the iridescent spill to fill the void in that side. Emphasis and subordination. The emphasis of the painting was the fisherman along with his boat due to its large size and how it is intensely detailed. It consists of color tones, dark shadows, and less vibrant but strong colors. At the same time, the subordination is the rainbow spill background and the net below. All through the spill, Background has a strong, vibrant, and warm mixture of colors. It was not heavily detailed as the artist randomly smudged it to imitate 
the oil spills when reflected by the sun. The nets below do not follow the rainbow palette and only consist of thin lines. Therefore, it was not considered an um, emphasis. 4. Scale and Proportion Scale is defined as the size of an object without being compared to the size of a reference object. In the painting, the two things can only have a specific length, the both and the fisherman. The objects are three-dimensional, which is indicated by the shadows present. In addition, the iridescent spilled background is not three-dimensional, which makes an incomplete comparable to the things present. The net, however, rep replaced the sea, but the whole size is still comparable to an actual net size that a fisherman uses. In the proportion of the objects, we might see the right side of the boat is somewhat more prominent in the painting. This is since it is nearer and titled. 5. Mass and volume volume is defined as the amount of space an object occupies while a mass suggests that a thing is solid and occupies space the only object in the painting that is solid and occupies space is the boat and the fisherman since it is a three-dimensional which indicates it as the only object in the painting with mass However, the iridescent spilled background only occupies space but cannot be de determined to be solid since it is flat with no shadows. Two-dimensional blotch of color. Rhythm. Rhythm is not always emphasized in the painting. It can be hidden in the underlying tones of the painting. In the background, the use of alternating colors in the rainbow is clearly seen, but as you zoom in to the boat and its details, we can clearly see the same colors but subtly presented. For example, we may see the wood as brown with a different tint to appear realistic at first glance. As we zoom it on the wood in the boat, we can see the same alternating colors present in the rainbow spilled background, indicating that the rhythm of the col rainbow colors is pres present in the scene and on the objects themselves. Curve and diagonal lines are often used in artwork to present movement instead of just creating straight lines. The artists use these lines to trace the path to the focal point and the boat is nearer on the right side, which is a sign of movement. The primary indicator of the boat's movement it is the wave of the blog, which indicates that the wind blows it. Eight pattern. The most visible pattern present in the painting was the net below the boat. It consists of a regular in a cross hatch pattern, which represents the sea. Opinion and Conclusion Every fiber and stroke of the painting has its deep meaning. It not only roots from Ronson Colubrina's vast knowledge in the arts but also in the memories of his past. Supreme was a mixture of traditional and modern art. It, it, it also speaks of environmentalism. Who could have through that he can turn his vivid memory of an oil spill and integrate it with his experiences and turning it into a beautiful work of art. Metaphorically, the sea of nets represents the human greed. The sea was supposed to be seen as beautiful and my mystical, but it our eyes. It was just a money-making machine, a net where we can obtain our fish, nothing more. Uh, Phil Star article. It was mentioned Romson Colibrina remembers the islands where he grew up as being monochromatic, albeit with the daggers of colors. He would swim with the other kids in the lake during its better days, and since they had no computers or gadgets, they improvise. Pieces of bamboo would transform into cars and guns and bits of coconut charcoal 
which turns walls into fantastic morals. Beautiful colors of this oil spill are not only present on the background, but also on the object he painted. It was finished with painting, splashes, aquatic flora, and the entire assortment of trash dump in the water, and a mass fisherman which was a representation of the toxic environment mutating the humans into monstrous creatures. Perhaps how the painting was traditional and layered with paintings, splashes, and unmatching objects and patterns in a modern style was a commentary on how we toxify beautiful things that we humans have in this world.